Hey all, it's Mooch. Welcome to Mining MX episode 6. Uh, we're continuing. This is part 2 of testing the Times of 8 Dreamer mechanical mod. Today we're testing the voltage drops through the complete mods. And as always, I want to thank my patrons for making all this testing possible. And I want to thank Stan, Tenacious TX Vapes, paper towel everywhere, for uh, sending the aluminum mech to help uh, complete the testing here. I put great tape on all of them to help make for more consistent um, handhold and more consistent button pressure hopefully but I anticipate some variation between button presses. Quickest overview to eliminate variables and to just isolate differences namely things that happen in the mechs themselves and not on the batteries not on the coils. I use a 60 amp power supply instead of a battery set the 3.5 volts but it really doesn't matter. Uh, electronic load set to 30 amps no matter what's going on outside resistances through here, what voltage this is, doesn't matter, this will draw 30 amps. That lets us see the voltage across the posts of this atomizer, and it's the red and black wire into here, the white wires are where the current, main current flows through. By looking at the voltage across the posts and knowing we're always drawing 30 amps, we can calculate the resistance of the mechs, and it lets us equalize the testing of every single mech without worrying about battery voltages changing, coil resistances changing as the coil heats up, etc. So it really helps to get rid of a lot of variables. Another variable to get rid of is when I hit this button, this fires a two second pulse at 30 amps. I will close the contact, press the button first. So there's no accumulating arcing damage. That can be tested separately. So we also eliminate arcing damage is the problem. All four of these were cleaned earlier today and the grip tape put on. And uh, let's get started. But first, a warning. Uh, these are hybrid top cap mechs. Do not use this as your first mech until you fully understand what is appropriate or what a suitable atomizer is, how to calculate battery current, how to choose the correct battery, etc. Stick to one with a 510 pin if you go for your first mech. Just a warning for uh, new vapors or new mech users. So let's start with stainless steel. And what we're going to do is uh, take five measurements. I'm going to get rid of the highest and lowest, average CS3, and then we'll take a look at uh, some of the numbers later. And if I have to, we'll divide it up into two videos if this starts taking too long for each metal. And we'll see how this works. And I am running the battery positive up because that gets rid of the battery rattle and more solid connection with my battery slugs. But the instructions are positive down for this mech. Okay, so we're looking at the voltage across here. This you'll see go up to 30 amps. This you'll see 30 amps when I press this button. But this is the important voltage for what we're doing. And try to duplicate always. So now we're seeing very low voltage drop across here, and we're going to fire. 0.28. Point two eight point three two. Let's turn those down. Point two eight point two eight point three two point two eight point three one. I'm going to say point three one point two eight point three one. Okay. Now, just as reference, uh, the RX Machina was about 0.45, and here we're measuring about 0.28. Okay, next one up is the brass. Now, all four of these have the waffle or knurled pin on, in the button that ship stock with. We'll do pins separately. This is not the uh, flat top pin. Okay. That was 0.11. Now, see, these are total volts. When I press, it goes down to millivolts. Okay, so that's 0.11 again. 112 millivolts, 0.11 volts. 0.11. So this is less than half the voltage drop. 0.11 when rounded off. 0.13, there's a high, it slipped. Hmm, it's going up, let's test this. I'm gonna write this down here first. 
0 0.11, 0 0.11, 0 0.13, 0 0.17. Let's see if this is still going up. Okay, that was a really hard press just to see what was going on. 0 0.11. Okay, my hand was slipping. My position had shifted for those uh, 0.13 and 0.17. So I'm going to change the 0.17 to a 0 0.11. And this is going to happen, and this is why I do so many measurements. If you just take one measurement, there can be problems, because you never know if you're repeating it. You want to look for consistency across the presses. If not, well, then you want to find out what the variable is that's messing with your consistency and get rid of it. All right, next is going to be aluminum. Can't believe how light this mod is. Just incredible. I, I think it weighs less than a 2700 battery. Oh, just for those who don't know, this is a not a battery. This is a solid aluminum slug, about uh, seven micro ohms. This is one three thousandth of a volt drop, 0 0.0003 volt drop at 30 amps. So its contribution to the voltage drop is it can pretty well be ignored. One reason why I went with a solid aluminum slug. Okay. Point two two. That sounds very high. Point one five. Point one seven. Point one eight. I don't like that it's going up. Point one five. Point one seven. Point one eight. And 0 0.11, 0 0.15, 0 0 0.11, 0 0.11, 0 0.13, 0 0.13. I'm gonna go with 0 0.11, 0 0.11. 0.13 Hands are getting sweaty. See there's a point a little less than a point one. Point one one. Point one one. I'm gonna go with point one one. Which puts it almost identical to the brass. And lastly, it's going to be the copper. Okay. Cap open. Haha. <laughs> Point oh three seven. 0 0.047, 0 0.050, 0 0.037, 0 0.047, 0 0.05. Oh, I felt my hand slip. 0 0.037. My hand is getting hard. Consistent pressure is hard. 0 0.037, 0 0.047, 0 0.047, okay, 0 0.047, 0 0.047, and I want to check the aluminum once more, just to throw it on, just to see, make sure things are okay here, coming back with consistency. because we had a slight variation on this one. If I can learn how to put these on. Oh, 
and those squeaky threads lets me know they are clean. 0 0.12, 0 0.19, that was pressing more towards the edge. 0.11, and when it says 110 millivolts, it's 0.1 volts. 0.14, okay, so that's close. The 0.13 and 0.11 I had gotten before. So I'm pretty confident in the results of these. Let's check the brass one quickly again, just to make sure. And this, <laughs> Ah, oh, except the aluminum galls a bit. Okay, well, I will be back in a minute once I get that open again. Okay, I had to put a little grip tape on the top and I was able to loosen it. So I might have tightened it a little, a wee much. All right, and quick test, test, retest of the brass. Stainless steel one I tested a couple times before, I was confident of that one of the 0.28 or so that I measured on that. So the copper is actually about, wow, almost 10 times less of a voltage drop. We'll see if that, what that turns into for power loss. Okay, 0 0.05, there we go, 0 0.1, 0 0.9, Point one one. Point one one. That's what I was getting before. Point one one. Point one two. Okay, so I'm pretty confident of this. Okay, now what I'm going to do is take the best performer, which was the copper one, and I am going to go and switch to the 18650 for that copper and copper and using the um, adapter that comes with the Dreamer. Has a knurled or waffle pin surface there. Regular flat there. You're supposed to run positive down. I'm gonna run positive up because it gets rid of uh, the voltage, excuse me, gets rid of the rattle. If you can hear the phone, my apologies. And we'll see if there's any change. Now we're getting uh, 0.037 to 0.047 before. Point oh five. Point oh five four. Point oh five six. Point oh five nine. Point oh five eight. Okay, so it's a little bit worse, a tiny bit. Just writing those down. Okay, just a quick overview. Um, here is the. Uh, voltage drops. Stainless steel was averaged at 0.29. Um, then we've got the brass at 0.11, the aluminum 0.11. Copper with the 2700 battery is 0.047, with the 18650 was 0.056. These are volts. Uh, the stainless steel difference between the three middle measurements was 30 millivolts. Only three millivolt difference in the copper and the others there was no difference when you averaged out the three middle readings. Now, just quick, I'll have nice pretty tables for this, but just a quick power loss through the Dreamer at 30 amps with this. That's supposed to be an at symbol, but at 30 amps, stainless steel, you're losing 8.7 watts through the complete mech and the atomizer. Uh, brass and aluminum are 3.3. Copper is a little bit less than half that. 1.41 watts with the 2700, 1.7 watts with the 18650. As a comparison, the only other mech I've tested, RX Machina, you're losing 13.8 watts at 30 amps through that with the Cosmonaut um, atomizer. So right now, even the, st the two stainless steel mechs, this is a, definitely a better performer. And then of course the brass and the other ones. Now, difference between stainless steel and these yeah, I think you would notice that five watt difference. Now the difference between that one and a half, or what is it, 1.7 watt difference between the brass and aluminum and the copper? Well, you may, you may not. Pick if you're using an 18650, 
you know, you're only running about a 1.6 watt difference in here. Some people may notice that, at, what is it, 105 watt discharge or so. Others may not, but these are fairly close. And just like when measuring the tubes, stainless steel was much different. And these three, just the tubes, are very close to each other. It gets a little more magnified when you take the whole system into account, but these still are grouping very close together. That's all for this episode. Thank you for watching.